Today we're going to cover how to use a Faircom driver, which is an ODBC driver uh, with the Practice Partner uh, program. The driver is actually a tool that uh, you use to try to extract information from tables that are in the Faircom database, which provides the basis for a Practice Partner's medical record program. So there's all this information in tables, and there are numerous tables within Practice Partner each of which stores a bit of information on, on each patient. So there may be one on medications or allergies, progress notes, uh, lab tests, uh, orders, and the like. And if we are going to query the database and try to find out who had a visit within a particular amount of time or which patients within a certain age group uh, had which testing done, then this is the way to go. And we first have to configure this driver so that it is able to pull information uh, from the tables and put it into another program, which we can then use to run the reports we want, for example, Microsoft Access or Excel uh, and the like. Now, this is what the program looks like when you uh, first call it up. And right here, you see a script name. What this is, is a particular file that exists in the uh, Faircom folder of your uh, computer. And so we'll look over here, we'll find Faircom and ODBC. And here we are. So this is the PP-BRF, which is Practice Partner Brief Database. It is uh, a file that basically names the particular table and then states, has a statement on the same line with where the table is located on the hard drive. The point of this is to allow this program to know where to look. So this is the location on the hard drive down here. This is the name of the folder. And then uh, there are a lot of other particular adjustments which uh, you might want to just copy from this particular program uh, and set when you're setting your database. So this sets up the tool so that it's there and available to work when we need it. Then we can go uh, and use, for example, Microsoft Excel. To begin to use this tool, you would go to data and then get data from other sources using Microsoft Query. And here we go. There's our Faircom driver. And so it's going to say, do you want to use this tool to pull information into uh, Excel? And then there are all the folders that were in our PP brief um, file right here. ASC is a folder that contains appointment information. So let's say we want to find people who may have had an appointment um, since, let's say, October 1st of 2014. And um, so we will use this particular file here. We always begin by grabbing the patient ID because this is how tables are linked to each other. And then the appointment is going to be the date of the appointment. So that's a good thing to have. And let's say I want to find out who uh, I saw. So I'm going to want to query the provider ID as well. Now, uh, another piece of information is perhaps I'm going to want to know the names of the patients. Perhaps I'm going to want to know their ages. And um, so these are other bits of information that reside in other tables. And I just happen to know that MRPA um, contains the information that I just mentioned. So let's query this table as well at the same time. Again, we're going to want to use the patient ID to link the tables. Date of birth is right there. And then if we move down here, we can notice first name and last name, which we could put in. I'm putting them here just as an example. Um, but um, uh, I'm going to pull them out because I don't want you to... Uh, uh, see the names of my patients at this time. Um, so there we go. 
uh, I'm going to take these out. We've got date of birth, patient ID, so we can run the age. We have date of appointment, uh, provider ID. And so I think that'll get us to where we want to be on this particular query. When we hit next, it's going to allow us to um, set certain specifications. So for example, if I want to see everyone who has been in our office since October 1st, 2014, then <clears throat> there are numbers that this system uses that uh, indicate dates. And so uh, 60174 is the number that equals October 1st. And um, then we'll say before January 1st, just to pull that out. And January 1st, uh, 2015 is going to be um, 60265. We'll say 60264 just to get uh, December 31st. Now for provider ID, we're going to look for my patients. And then date of birth. Let's get people who were, uh, let's say, between age 15 and uh, 24 on um, October 1st. So uh, if we do the math on this, basically, uh, we want people whose date of birth was greater than or equal to 54. I'm sorry, greater than or equal to 51408, which is a 24 year old, and less than or equal to uh, 54695, which is a 15 year old. And <clears throat> so we move along, and we're going to save this for two reasons. Uh, one is that um, it's always nice once you save a query, the next time you do the same thing, you can run this very quickly without going through what I just went through. Uh, you can do fine tuning on the fly, such as, as, as changing the dates you're going after. The other reason for this is that there are times when these programs don't function as they should. You tell them what to do, they do something a little funny. And you need to basically get into the program and uh, correct it. And so this will allow us to do that if that is a problem. And if you are doing this because you use Practice Partner, you are no stranger to unexplained problems with the software. Let's see what we do. We're going to put the information over here. And yep, true to form, it pulled zero patients. And yet I know I did this right. So I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to begin to repeat this, only this time, instead of going to Faircom Driver, I'm going to go to Queries. I'm going to take the sample query, open it up again, and it's going to give it to me here. And it shows no patients. Now, I know that these two tables are supposed to be linked by the patient ID and nothing else. Let's see if that's the case. Aha! For some reason, it linked practice ID right here. And I have no idea why. At no point did I select that, but somehow the program thought it was a good idea. But you can see when I delete that, it fixes this. I'm going to then save this query. So the next time I use it, I'll hit Control S, or I can go up here and just put Save. That way, next time I use it, it'll work. And then also, we can go here and return data to Microsoft Excel. Boom. Those are the patients within that age group, within that period of time that I saw. Now, there's an additional thing that you can do here that you might find useful. Uh, for example, this date of appointment, that is a raw number. 
And here's how the alchemy works. You can change this number into an actual date by hitting equals this minus 18261. And then changing the format of this column to date and voila, there we go. We've got our range that goes from uh, October till the end of the year, just as we plan. You can sort by this if you want. So we'll just sort and see that, in fact, it does go uh, as we had planned it. You can also do the, a similar thing with date of birth here, in that um, you would need to basically take the number of days uh, contained in the date of birth and then take the number of days in the current data, we could use October 1st, and subtract the two and then divide by 365, and you'll be close enough to their actual age, although you're not taking into consideration uh, leap years there. But let's give that a try. So we'll call this age. And here's how we do it. We hit equal. And what we're going to do is put a parentheses. And then October 1st is 60174 minus this time the date and then divide by 365 and there we are we've got the age of the patients and it seems like it's about the range that we were looking for so there we are uh, we have explained what the faircom driver is as well as how to set it up and we've performed a sample query with uh, two linked tables that could be very useful if you're developing a registry or if you're doing quality measures um, and reporting. And you can use Excel here not only to list the patients, but to summarize the information as well so that you can get summary data. I hope you found this to be useful.